morning, HQDs. Welcome to HQ Trivia. Are you multitasking? And also watching the Grammys? I can't wait to see who wins best orchestral performance. I'm rooting for Bruckner, Symphony Number no. Nine. Go Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. I just know you're gonna beat Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, follow me. It's your boy, Matt. What's funny? Money flipping Matt Richards, y'all. Let's get it. Woo! Breaking through the blue wall. We've got some great themes coming your way this week. Tomorrow, get your spirit fingers ready. Tap that right answer, okay? It's Bring It On Trivia. You captain material? It's on tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern for Movie Monday. Yeah! I'm gonna watch it tonight to get back into the, the vibe. All right, season 14 is in full swing. You may have noticed all your points and levels have been reset. Do not be alarmed. Okay, we reset levels at the beginning of every new season. After last night's games, I'm sure a bunch of you hardworking players have already reached level 10. So if you are, let me know and I'll shout you out. That'll be dope. Yeah, if you've made it that far already. This season's going to have bigger jackpots and that means bigger payouts. This Wednesday, all right, the game will be 25 questions with a $5,000 jackpot at the end, but that's not all. Make it to question 21, and you can choose to take a cash prize or keep playing for the $5,000 jackpot. The further you play, the more we pay. So be sure to play this Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Did you guys play today's HQX game? Throw a little camera emoji in the chat right now if you did. Let me know so I know who was out there that was playing. Yeah. HQX is our newest game, and all you need is a camera. The camera on your phone. Okay? So if you missed it, don't worry. HQX is live every Thursday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Yes, hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when it goes live. All right? Then on Friday, HQ Tunes is all about the Biebs, baby. Beliebers unite. What do you think of his new song, Yummy? Girl, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum. We're going to do a TikTok together. Girl, you got that yummy, yum. That, that's how I feel it. When, I, when I'm singing yummy, yummy, I'm just eating something that's not even there. Yes. Do you love it or hate it? It's, it's growing on me. I hated it at first. I was like, oh, God. But then I caught myself having a bowl of cereal. And I was like, yummy, yum, da yum. Sorry. <laughs> Okie dokie. Tonight, we got 21 questions all about the Grammys, OK? You got 10 seconds to tap the answer. Get a question right, you move on. Get all the questions right, and you win, or you split a $1,000 prize, depending on how whoever's left. All right, there are other prizes along the way. Get question six right, you have a choice to make. Take a coin prize, or keep playing for the $1,000 jackpot, okay? Tonight's questions are all about the Grammys. The 62nd Annual Grammy Awards are airing right about now. Is it 62nd or 63rd? It's one of them. The Grammys is old. <laughs> Every award show comes with its fair share of victories and upsets. Let's see if you know who won Best Album of the Year in 1985, all right? Who won Best Album of the Year in 1985? Lionel Richie, Prince, or Bruce Springsteen? 1985, who got Best Album of the Year? Who did it? All right, 44% of you said Prince, 32 said Bruce. No offense to not Lionel Richie, but can you believe they passed over Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA and Purple Rain for Richie's Can't Slow Down? Seriously, hello? Purple Rain, come on, y'all. That was a tragedy. But let's, let's fast forward to 2000. Which song won Song of the Year in 2000? I Want It That Way, Smooth or Unpretty? Hmm? Who did it? All right, 51% of you said, I want it that way. Backstreet Boys, I Want It That Way is arguably the most memorable song from 2000, but smooth one song of the year. So if you had to choose from one of these songs to listen to for the rest of your life on a desert island, which would it be? If it's smooth, please explain. Give me your heart, make it real, or else this is about it. Cause we're gonna quiz about it. <laughs> Give me your heart, make it real, or I'll talk out about it. Boy, I just forget about it. Hi. 
Nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one about the Grammys. <laughs> get your family. All right. <laughs> the name of the Grammy Awards directly refers to what? Candy grams, grandmothers, or gramophones? Hmm. What's it gonna be? A lot of grandmothers have made a lot of great music, okay? But these awards themselves are named after old record players, AKA gramophones. 69,473, y'all got it right. You still got a gramophone somewhere? Let me know in the chat, okay? Send me a picture, send us a picture if you got a gramophone, or send us a picture of your grandma on the phone, holding a, a gram cracker, at HQ Trivia on Twitter. Go find grandma, give her a gram cracker and a gramophone, and take a picture. Okay, <laughs> that was my HQX impression. Before we get to the next question, pick up some extra lives, all right? They get you back in the game after you choose a wrong answer. All righty, question number two. What you gonna do? Who won the Grammy for Record of the Year in 2019? Cher, The Eagles, or Childish Gambino? Record of the Year. 2019. This guy won four big awards last year, including Record of the Year. This is America. Don't catch you slipping up. Look where I'm whipping up. Ooh! I got the strap. I got to carry it. <laughs> None other than Childish Gambino is the answer. 63,738. You got it right. Donald Glover made history that night, but he was MIA. Maybe he was hanging with Cher and the Eagles. Maybe. Question number three. Who infamously had a Best New Artist Award revoked for not performing their own vocals? Mariah Carey, Millie Vanilli, or Christina Aguilera? Do not get this one wrong! Too easy! Alright, I'm gonna say this answer quick, because I don't want Mariah Carey fans coming at me. Mariah is a goat. Christina is a goat. Millie Vanilli! What? Come on now. It's Millie Vanilli. 62,257 of you got it right. I want to fight about 7,000 of you <laughs> for getting that one wrong. Nah, what you talk? What you talking about, Christina? Come on now, with that high E, when she hit that E from Mulan, remember that? That made, that put on the map. Come on now, don't get disrespectful. Please don't get disrespectful. Question number four. In her 2017 Grammy acceptance speech, Adele said she couldn't accept the award over who? Beyonce, Justin Bieber, or Alabama Shakes? Taking it back to 2017. Yee yeah. yee! All right, when Adele won Album of the Year for 25, she had mixed feelings, saying she couldn't accept it over Beyonce's Lemonade. 63,449 of you got it right. She called B the artist of her life. Move over, Adele. She's the artist of a lot of our lives, okay? Not just your life. The artist of my life. Ellen, I'm sure. Yes, see? Exactly. You didn't see. I can see. Love you, Ellen. Question number five for the children. Which of these musicians has not won a Grammy for Best New Artist? Justin Bieber, Megan Trainer, or Bon Iver? In 2011, jazz singer Esperanza Spalding pulled off a surprise victory, winning Best New Artist over favorites Drake and Bieber. Ooh-wee! 36,520 of y'all got it right. He may have taken it pretty hard, too, because he hasn't been to an award show since 2016. He said. Yummy, yum, da yum, yummy, yummy, yummy prize. Question six. Nom, nom, nom. Here we go. What song did Lady Gaga win a Grammy for the year she wore this? Look at that. Whoa. Was it Shallow, Poker Face, or Born This Way? What song did she win a Grammy for the year that she had on that ensemble? All right, 2010. Y'all remember that, right? Gaga arrived to the Grammys looking like a whole galaxy. She won Best Dance Recording for Poker Face that year, 2010. Okay, 29,369 of you got that right. Remember when Lady Gaga was nominated for Born This Way in 2011 and she showed up in an egg? Y'all remember that? It was excellent. Well, <laughs> Offering 137 coins, 
to 29,369 players. Five questions until the next prize. Let's go to work. <laughs> oh, let's go to work. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see what you guys picked to do. 11,438 players chose to take 137 coins. Still got 23,383 in the game. Five questions till the next prize. Question number seven, let's get it. Which classic rock band has won a competitive Grammy? The Who, The Rolling Stones, or Queen? Come on, get with it. All right, all three of these acts got a Lifetime Achievement Award, right? But only the Stones won three competitive Grammys. Huh, come on now. 8,630, got it right. Yes, this goes to show you can be extremely influential and still go unrecognized. Queen and The Who were nominated but never won. Terrible, that's terrible. All right, if you've answered every question correctly so far, you've already got yourself a whole bunch of points. So you can do even better if you grab yourself a point multiplier to make that even more points, okay? Tap on the pop-up that you see right here and that'll multiply your points already, plus the points you're about to get. Yeah, get you to a new level. It's a new season, get a new level for yourself. All right, question number eight. The Beatles won their first Grammy for which song? A Hard Day's Night, Yesterday, or Neither? Grammy for the Beatles. I got more slaps than the Beatles, dog. All right, the Fab Four got the Grammy stamp of approval pretty early in their careers, winning a Grammy for best performance by a vocal group for A Hard Day's Night. Yeah. Okay, oh my gosh, that's a savage question. <laughs> Oh, if you just got knocked out, get back in the game with an extra life to make it a good day's night. 2,529, y'all got that right. Oh boy. Question number nine. Which SNL star danced along with Maddie Ziegler to Sia's chandelier at the Grammys? Kristen Wiig, Maya Rudolph, or Will Ferrell? Ooh, ooh. All right, it was no surprise she brought dancer Maddie Ziegler, but it was a surprise to see Kristen Wiig in the same blonde wig. Hello, 6,278 got it right. Sia was there to belt out chandelier, but she spent the entire performance facing a wall. Yeah, interpretive dance, your way to question number 10. Here we are, we made it. Q10, my friends, time to get it in. With which artist did Elton John give a surprising performance at the 2001 Grammys? Robert Downey Jr., Dr. Dre, or Eminem? 2001 Grammys. All right, the lyrics from his slim, shady alter ego were controversial, but Elton John didn't mind. He performed alongside Eminem in Stan. Yeah, 8,113 of you got it right. Question 11. It's another prize. Yee yee! All dogs also go to heaven at question 11. Which category was not included at the first Grammy Awards? Best comedy performance, best new artist, or record of the year? Talking about the first Grammy. Awards. Though it's one of the big four awards these days, Best New Artist wasn't part of the Grammys till the second ceremony. What, what? 3,514 of you got it right. So that means I'm flipping some coinage. To 3,514 of you. Who gonna take these coins? Ooh. 911 coins. Getting flipped to 3,514 players. You gonna take them? Or you gonna go seven questions for the next prize? The choice is yours. All right, 2,366 players chose to take uh, 911 coins. Good job. Here we go, Q12. The Star Wars actor behind which classic character has won a Grammy? Princess Leia, C-3PO, or Han Solo? It 
It was Carrie Fisher who won Best Spoken Word Album for her audiobook of The Princess Diarist. 1,045 of you got that right. It wouldn't be surprising to see Anthony Daniels, a.k.a. C-3PO, get a Grammy at some point. Okay? Question 13. Jelly beans. Which city has previously hosted the Grammys? Miami, Chicago, or Las Vegas? Okay. For many years, the Grammys were often held in several places at once, including New York City, Los Angeles, Nashville, and Chicago. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's a sad question. 975, you got it right. We should go back to doing it on uh, over in Chi-Town. I want to watch the Jonas Brothers eat a deep dish pizza. That'd be cool. Question 14. Which film soundtrack won the Grammy for Album of the Year? Grease, Black Panther, or The Bodyguard? Who's it going to be? Lock it in. All right, when you have Whitney Houston belting, I will always love you. You win. 1,240 of you just nailed it. Woo! Four movie soundtracks of one album of the year. The Bodyguard, Saturday Night Fever, uh, the music from Peter Quinn, and uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Yeah, yeah. Question 15. What celebrity earned the G in their EGOT posthumously? Audrey Hepburn, Helen Hayes, or Richard Rogers? Who did it? It's an elite club to win an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. And Audrey Hepburn joined that club one year after her passing. Oh, 1,043, got it right. Hepburn won the award for Best Spoken Word Album for Children. It was for the children. <laughs> for the children. Question 16. Who was the oldest person to win a Grammy? Pine Top Perkins, Ella Fitzgerald, or Betty White? All right, six people in their 90s have won Grammys so far, including Betty White. But they're going to have to keep going pretty strong to beat Pine Top Perkins. 863 got it right. They won Best Traditional Blues Album at the age of 97. Pour one out for the homie Pine Top, y'all. Pine Top? Question 17. Let's get it. Which of these film's directors won a Grammy for directing a music video? Boogie Nights, Blade Runner, or The Social Network? Okay. Plenty of directors got their start in music videos, including David Fincher, the director of The Social Network. Yeah, 744, y'all got it. He's won two Grammys, one for a Rolling Stones video and one for Justin Timberlake and Jay-Z's Long as I got my suit and tie, I'ma leave it off on the floor tonight. Question 18, the final Question with a prize before the jackpot. Here we go. Who presented a Grammy with Jennifer Lopez the year she wore this dress? Oh my goodness. All right, who was it? David Duchovny, Ben Affleck, or Sheryl Crow? J-Lo just looking like a beautiful fern or a leaf. Some kind of foliage. Just want to roll around in the canopy of a rainforest. That sounds weird. I'm gonna stop. Okay, that was the dress that created Google Images. We all remember this dress. But do we remember David Duchovny? Do you remember David Duchovny? Said David Duchovny? 742 of you remember David Duchovny. That's a fun name to say. All right. Uh, sorry, they, they got it wrong. You didn't, Remember age mold. Okay, 1,000 coins going out to 742 players. Three questions until the jackpot. This is exciting, y'all. I'm ready. Are y'all ready? Let's go to work. 114 players chose to take 1,000 coins. We still have 628 in the game with three questions remaining. Are they gonna be savage? I don't know. We're gonna see. Let's get it, babies. All right, 
which is not a current Grammy category. Best Roots Gospel Album, Best Opera Recording, or Best Heavy Metal Album. Currently not a Grammy category. Okay, so there's plenty of Grammys that are awarded that we don't see on the broadcast, but it doesn't mean they don't exist, okay? While the recording album passes out an award uh, for Best Metal Performance, Heavy Metal Albums just fall under rock. Oh my gosh! That's all time to switch out. Woo! All right. Question 20. Jethro Tull won the inaugural Grammy in what genre? Americana, hard rock, heavy metal, or regional roots? Okay, when you think Jethro Tull, you think guy with a flute, not metal. Might be why they won the only award for best hard rock heavy metal performance in 1989. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 136, got it right. That means 136 of you are moving on to the final question. Woo! The following year, the category was split up. But let's go to work. Come on, babies. Q21. Which musical relatives have been nominated in the same category in the same year? Miley and Billy Ray Cyrus, Julian and Sean Lennon, Enrique and Julio Iglesias. Nominated in the same category in the same year. It might be awkward to lose to a friend, but it's even weirder to be competing against a relative. Maybe it's for the best that neither Enrique Iglesias nor his father Julio, Julio, <laughs> Julio, took home the Grammy for best Latin pop album that year. 84 players just won HQ trivia, baby! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! You did it! You did it! Be proud of yourself! Yes, yes. Everybody gets 11 bucks. That ain't bad. 84 winners. Eric Bach, re re re. Uh, Vito uh, Vital, The Midnight, Magic Fruit. <laughs> it's Icky Vicky, Shatner FT, AF Watkins, Rich Sounds, World Pride, Siblings. Bam Algri, Dolphin 14. I'm proud of you guys. Y'all did that. Congratulations, babies. Thank you so much for playing tonight. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Make sure you come back tomorrow for more trivia, okay? Right now, I just want to take a moment to honor Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and the other passengers who lost their lives in a terrible accident today. We lost a legend, and our hearts go out to the grieving families. Good night, everybody.